And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Working on our toxic factory here. I've uh, expanded the factory quite a bit. And we've even got, we've even got more floor, because we ran into an area that had no hills or mountains or anything. So we've got a lot of area here. So the next thing I want to automate is a brutal, brutal process. And that is the enforced inductions. Uh, the multiple steps for these are just painful to do by hand. So it's nice to have them automated. And we're going to need, for the, the Mark IVs, we're going to need titanium plates, conductive PCBs, and gold wire. Uh, so yeah, these things are going to use a lot of gold and titanium. And then Mark V's is just eight of the Mark IVs, which is a pretty simple process. So first things first, let's get the first step done. I've got the manufacturing plants going on already, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna set these up right away. So we have got. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure these are spaced because we these need power. So I think if we we're gonna need a supplemental power. I think over here for each one of these each one of these manufacturing plants is going to suck up a little bit of power so there's one manufacturing plant and uh, let's get some hoppers around that so this thing is going to actually automate these so we need uh, tin and copper uh, and then we're going to need an output and i don't really want really large outputs here uh, so we're going to use a logistics hopper for the output uh, and this is going to be remove only Whoop. this is going to be remove only and this one's going to be add only because we don't want a super large number of things there. So the the Mark II's is more tin and copper, but then lithium and iron. Uh, and we're going to need to get into uh, some fancy ways of delivering four materials and have an output and have a spot for power. So let's get into this right away here. Uh, we're going to put the next one here because we have tin and copper already up here uh, and it's just a matter of you know getting them set up I'm gonna get actually oh well, let's see uh, mark twos tin and copper is a 50 50 split so I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go here I'm gonna I'm gonna build 25 more of these I'm going to build, where are they, 25 more of these. Then we're going to build some smaller ones. Uh, I want, oh, those are, those are not, those are not cheap. Wow. Uh, uh, we're going to, I think we're going to use huge uh, just because we need, we need throughput. Uh, so one side of this uh, we can use for the tin and the copper. Uh, we just need a few of the 50-50 zipper merges. Now, there should I should have access to the the fast zipper merge, and I don't know I don't know why I don't have it. That's really weird. Uh, maybe it's a research that that I need to do. Let's go over here to our research station. Maybe maybe knock out a few of these lower level researches. Uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, advanced storage. Obviously, it's not a, I don't think it's a T2, or a, I don't think it's a frozen factory thing. Bulk carts? Bulk cargo lifts? Yeah, let's, let's hammer out bulk cargo lifts. We should have plenty of, uh, experimental pods now. So anyway, we're going to want a zipper merge. We're actually going to want probably a few of these. Uh, so let's build some more conveyor belts. And a zipper merge. Just because this process is pretty brutal. Uh, okay, so we're going to want the tin and the copper from here to route 
as well over to our zipper merge. So let's, instead of the ore smelter right there, we're going to throw in a zipper merge. So we've got tin and copper coming in, and they're going to go right in here like this. I also need to grab some more tubes, a lot of tubes actually. So grab all the transport pipe that we've got. And then we need tin and copper in here. So cover that up. Okay, so that takes care of tin and copper for the Mark IIs. Uh, now we need lithium and iron. So let's put one here. This is obviously going to be remove only. This is going to be remove. Make sure, oh, yeah, see, remove, remove, and that one's add already. So this one's also going to be remove because we're going to move these all right over to there. This is a one, it's basically one to one, I think. Uh, there's one of these that's actually two. Yeah, force induction one, force induction one, force induction two. So you, you can see where it's starting to exponentially increase the number of resources that we need. Okay, so the lithium and iron that's going to come up here, uh, we're going to want to merge that as well. And uh, I can replace, I can replace these uh, with. I can replace these zipper merges with the fast kind uh, later on after I figure out why I haven't gotten access to them yet. Uh, and then we're going to need an output for this. So there's there's the add only hop. Then as we move closer to the tier the tier two ores, uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna have to be we're gonna be needing them. Uh, so the next step is the Mark threes. And that is uh, a lot of tier two stuff. So you know we're gonna we're gonna be needing a lot of these uh, for this next step. So this one's gonna be removed, and let's put that there and grab some more transport pipes. I want to make sure we got a lot of these. <clears throat> Uh, let's see so we're gonna automate click that click start automation we're gonna click the mark twos and we're gonna start automation and then these are gonna be the threes and then we're gonna start automation you can see all the glorious stuff we need a ton more nickel on this step than we need anything else so titanium gold and uh, and lithium combined equal the amount of raw nickel we need. Uh, so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to need, because I've got lithium, lithium is going to come up over here. And I think, I actually think we're going to want it, lithium is actually going to be right on this line. So what I think we're going to do. So we're gonna load we're gonna load lithium right here instead of being right here I want to I'm gonna craft a few of these just so I can copy and paste the colored versions so if this is going to be lithium uh, I need oh how is this gonna work? I think I'm going to need to load on also on the bottom of these because we need we need a lot more inputs over here than anything. So over here, let's do a storage hopper. This is going to be remove only. Lithium is going to come up right on this line. So let's get that up and in. And then we're going to have one going in this way and one going in this way. So lithium will be split. And then over here, we're going to have probably gold and titanium. So that's going to be remove only. The one on the bottom is going to have to be nickel. 
Because this one has to be the output. And I'm out of logistics hoppers, so let's uh, let's craft a few more of those. I anticipate this process taking a couple episodes, because these are not easy to make. Uh, let's actually get these squared away as well. Oop. So this goes in this way. Oh, I didn't actually need to go out that far. Okay, so that is kind of the, the system for those. And then we got this one loading in here. All of the requirements, so I need iron up in here. Over here is gonna be the gold and the titanium. So we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a, oh, well, let's put it out a little bit further. Because the gold is going to be a little bit more complex. So we're going to be the inputs right in there. We're going to have an input there and an input there. So I actually want titanium to be this, this side here. So this side here, actually, let's, let's do that. And then the gold gold is going to be a little different because we need a whole lot of gold for the next step so this is copper i really wish the lights if i put a if i put a light down here okay that that does light us up it's going to make it really bright in here for a little bit but i want to be able to i want everybody to be able to see See, that's gold and tin, or not gold and copper and tin. That is going to be iron. That has to be the the uh, lithium that we've got way over there. Okay, this one, this is needs to be, that needs to be one of these set to remove only. This is where the, the nickel comes in. Uh, this will be titanium. So this goes out, this goes up, and we need to stand right by titanium. Uh, and let's see, go here, go there. All right. I might actually have to move that because the next step needs titanium plate. Uh, and then gold, obviously, is the tough one. I know I set this up in a previous series, and it was not easy to do then either. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one of these here, and I'll be able to pull off of this to make the titanium plate for the next step. Uh, that is a regular hopper. I want to use I want to use one of these. That's remove. That's remove. That's remove. That requires all of these things, which we are able to load over here. And then gold, right here, this is the tough one because we're going to have to bring it up, put it into a hopper, and then merge it over. Because we need gold wire for the next step. So that's the that's the mark threes uh, and I want a few of these in storage so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bigger hopper there for the storage because I want to be able to come up and grab a whole bunch of mark threes uh, and then you know go up to our smelting floor and put them all into our hoppers or uh, our smelters uh, and so this one's gonna be remove only and this is gonna be the Mark fours, and these are going to be tougher because these need gold wire, conductive PCBs, and titanium plates. Uh, so this is going to be this is going to be fun and joyful. Uh, luckily, there's only three three things that we need to load in here, uh, which I think if we look at the ratios, 24 and 24, uh, I would be able to put in a few in there and now that I look at this 
uh, I have a different I have a different idea of what what's going to be best, and I want to make sure. Okay, that's pointing the wrong way. It's kind of hard to tell, but. So the gold, the gold stuff I can load in over here. That's going to be actually pretty tough. So let's go. Let's look at let's look at what we need. So we need wires and we need PCBs. Well, PCBs are actually made from wires. So I'm going to actually need. All those copper wires that I made, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use all of those. And how many copper coils? I don't think I have any copper coils left, but I do have an area that I'm crafting those. So right over here, I have copper coils. Uh, how many plates? Yeah, see, I need copper plate as well. How many tin plate? I got plenty of plenty of tin plate. Uh, so I need some more copper plate, please. Because I only have enough for like four machines. And I need, I need a lot more than four machines. Because if you look at the platers and stuff. So stamper plants, uh, that's easy. I'm going to do one, two, three, four of those. This is going to be for the titanium plate. Well, that's going to be easy enough. Uh, I just need to merge in some more titanium. And we're going to do that on this side of things uh, and that's going to be remove only so the titanium can come up here and get plated right away so let's uh, plate that up so one two three four uh, and the titanium is right in line with this so we're going to get that system up let's go over grab I want to just keep grabbing transport pipe because when we make our when we expand the bus it's going to be uh, per, it's going to take a lot of a lot of pipe to expand that bus okay and then the output whoa output goes out like this And we're just going to merge them all in together. So these are going to just going to be titanium plates. And then over here, we're going to need a zipper merge. We'll do a zipper merge out here. So we need a zipper merge. The gold wire and the gold PCBs. Because they're, they're used in the same ratios. So that will be a little easier to handle. And I've got the gold coming up right here. All right. So let's see how many, see how many copper plates have run, run their course here. 75. That's pretty good. So I need like one, two, three. Uh, how many? Uh, 24, so I need four of these, and then one, two, three, four. I need one, two, three, four, and I need four copper coils. Should be right over here. And then one, two, three, four copper coils. One, two, three, four of these. Perfect. Okay, so now to automate these, we're going to have gold coming out here and then we're going to have it merging into two different sets. So I think for brevity's sake, we're going to have first the extrusion plants. And let's see, how do we want to set this up? Uh, if we do this, we're going to want one, two, three four like that it kind of looks funky but it, it should work one two three four and then one two three four and then pcbs one whoop two three four 
Uh, so we have a setup here, a setup there, and now we need to pull gold out of here, into here, and into here. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. And then these output pretty simply one, two, whoop, three, four. And then we can merge them all into this side of that zipper merge. And then same deal with these one, two, three, four. And then these are all going to go into this side of the zipper merge, namely, probably right in the middle. Each side going in, and the top one, top one going down. Now I just need to solve how to put all these in. I could use a I could use a turntable, but those are a little slow. Um, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna try our hand at getting some smaller hoppers here. So we have one medium hopper. Uh, I'm gonna craft one more of those and then put put them on the inputs here and here and then we're going to need another hopper to act as a sort of turntable but it's going to be a much faster turntable and then this comes out like that and there we go so that should be able to craft the Mark IV inductions. And then the, the easy step, the, the much easier step, is the Mark V's. Uh, so we're gonna, the Mark IVs, we're just gonna output, uh, oh, no, that's gonna be add. So make sure that's remove, that's remove, that's remove. The, I need at least eight into this hopper here. So I don't need a whole lot of Mark IVs in reserve. So the small hopper uh, holds 10, which is perfect. I could also use a mini hopper, which comes with the game. It's not a mod, but I want to keep up with consistency here. So this is going to be remove only. This is going to be Mark V's and start automation. And the output for those, uh, I don't need a whole lot of these to store. Like, I, I don't need a ton of these. So I'm going to use another small hopper to craft. And that's, that's going to be the add-only hopper. Uh, so it's going to remove them here, craft, bring them over to here. And uh, we should have Mark V's in the system. And that is the gist of auto crafting these now it's matter of moving ore and power which we will cover next episode so that'll do it for this one and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time